I can't beat them in the house. I can't slap anyone. I can't do anything. <laughs> and they were hurting my feelings. No, Willow was not my person. Ah, no, you guys, guys were nicely. That was very clear. I was throwing a grenade to my KK and it also landed. That was not anything romantic. Shame. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Babagos. People like him and Lerato, I didn't think they exist in the world. The thing about Bali is she became two-faced. Yeah. I feel like she didn't want to be nominated. Mm. I'm sure they said I was a granny, like I'm, yeah. I'm old. Yeah. And I, par I can't do a blow job. <laughs> and then she was like, so you do you want me to teach you how to do a blow job? I can actually teach you how to do a blow job. That was a trigger. You know why? That was a trigger. Because I can't do it. <laughs>
and there's no time where you punish me for that. Like uh, being loud. Yeah. Being weird sometimes. Being, you know, with other people. You never said, you know, don't be yourself. Do, 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 do. Every time you called me, he kind of like, or for me, I felt like he accepted me the way I was. I didn't ask me a question when they said I was loud mm. in the dressing room. I think you remember when I was like, ah, in the dressing room. Mm. And then I went to the other section. I told Big Brad. And I was like, do you have a problem with my loudness? He didn't say anything. So you see. So so, was, so when I, you're just like, oh, because he doesn't say anything, he doesn't have a problem. Yes. <laughs> when Big Brother has a problem, he remove you. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing about like loudness in the. To be fair, there's nothing about loudness in Thank the Thank you. Book. There's Meaning nothing about was it. okay with my loudness. But you were loud. <laughs> well, I did say in the beginning <laughs> that I am loud. I was like, my name is Yolanda Munyai, and I'm very loud. I did say. Gondi. And when I'm loud, they're like, you loud. Hebana, I told you. Was, I just said. Do you think, you know, for me, I think because you've always been, I've also been like a naughty, problematic child. Like, I was naughty. I've changed my ways. Did you? <laughs> is, it, is it possible? No, is it possible for no, me? No, but me, it took a while. So, like, Do you I, have kids? I have one. Maybe that's why. No, man, it's like... You have a mother nature that came out. No, 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 no. It situation. was before that. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I calmed down, like, you know, because... Nah, I don't know if I've, it's possible. I, 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 have a, I had a naughty nature, like, like, like my mom nah. was always in, like, situation now i'm turning the problem i'm turning 33 years of age i've finished the calendar on the 19th of july and i've been this way mm. 19th of july mm. you can see i am yeah. so huh? really <laughs> that's why you're loud and naughty <laughs> Oh, are you still naughty i think you are. i'm not mm. naughty i'm not naughty so do you think I feel like your loudness, sometimes when I look at it, I feel like your loudness is to protect yourself from people. Actually, it is. Yeah. Because, okay, so this is, this is going to sound very weird. Okay. Weird is the right word to use. Weird, okay, yes. This is going to sound if you can speak, you, <laughs> you can speak Chivenda if you want. No, but not the whole way. <laughs> we don't have anyone who's going to, you know, fix the things. <laughs> you, anyway. Okay. Um... Kanji, what was the question? I was saying that is it is it a mask to oh being loud? Yeah, I feel like I don't think it's a mask. Not a mask. It's just a, a protection. It's a defense. That's defense, a word. defense mechanism. mechanism. Yes. I know it. That one. Yeah. I think it is because, like I said, people didn't really understand me growing up, honestly, mm. and I fought with a lot of them for mm. the fact that I'm me. Why don't you understand type of situation? Mm. And. I wouldn't say it is. I think me not being afraid, I'm not afraid of a lot of things. So I just, I just do things. Yeah. Like I just, like you wouldn't think someone 33 would go to Big Brother. <sighs> wow. A lady. You know. Mostly we are married. I mean, there's a 37 year old. I'm just saying. He's 27, according to me, in the house. By the way, <laughs> as I was saying, <laughs> as I was saying. So I think, um, you see, you're disturbing me. I forgot the things I was about to say. Yeah. I had a point. You were talking about... <laughs> <gone. laughs> the point ran away. We were talking about the, the, the defense the mechanism. No. So I wouldn't really say that... A defense Actually, mechanism. Actually, I've been loud because my dad was loud like yeah. me. And that's how he spoke to everyone. I think mm. I took my char his character. Mm. Basically. Like, my dad was exactly like me in terms mm. of everything, actually. Mm. So, but also because people didn't get me, I grew up alone and I was a loner. Mm. I can be very quiet, mm. but when I'm quiet, there's a problem. What's the problem? You might find that I'm, I'm not happy. You're overthinking. Pro yes. Actually, when I'm, when I'm thinking about things, really, like I, I zone out. Mm. Even me should be like, what's wrong with you? It's like, you're not saying anything. Because yeah. my mind is like very far away yeah. from the situation. And I think too much, like, um. The daydreamer, whoever that person is, where you sit, yeah. you just see yourself in Dubai or yeah. Bahamas, and that time you have 50 rand in your bank account. So you're actually yeah. waking up your brain. <laughs> exactly. And I struggle to loud. sleep. You, basically. Yes. Yeah. So I wouldn't say, because with me, I sometimes fight other people's battles as well, because I don't like seeing people. That's why I didn't like Ghost, actually, because yeah. he was always on other people's case. And most of the times yeah. when I fought with him, if you follow it properly, it was not always directed to me. 
The first fight I had with him, it was because of the task of people. And that's the problem I have because I feel like people are, are not like me, right? Mm. So pe- some people are like, no, it's fine, leave it. I don't want to leave it. Mm. No, we must fix it. You know? Mm. So the other person must but know you, how I but feel. But do you take into consideration that people are not ready to for conflict? For me, personally, right, Ne? not as much now i used to be very afraid of conflict so like if something is going to make me uncomfortable i'm not going to talk about it i'm just going to be like <gasps> so the problem with me is if so i don't do talk about it it's a problem for me so but do you take into consideration that the other person might not want to i actually i think i learned that in the house oh. you know with who mm-hmm. milay oh yeah yeah milay when I spoke to her, I related with her very well. Like, I was a mm-hmm. little bit close with her. Like, I would yeah, she did say wake she, her up all the time. She and did say. Had, yes. Milay kind of, like, has my crazy character. She does. Mm-hmm. But she chose to not be that person. Like, mm-hmm. she'll be like, if you say my hair, it's whatever. I know I look beautiful with my hair like that. I won't say anything. Mm-hmm. But if you say my hair, like, Yolanda, mm-hmm. your hair... And I look at you and I see other things are old. I'm also going to point them. That's me. Like I would just react. But she was not reacting. And I did look at it and I was like, hmm, okay. There are some instant or incidents that I, for example, the Liema situation, Mm. I was leaving it. Mm. Because I was not that hungry. I just eaten. I could have just cooked or I could have just took a plate that was there. Mm. I mean, like I did with Lerato. Yeah. But I was avoiding that. So I went to upstairs to keep mm. quiet. Mm. She came upstairs. We kind of like sorted out a bit. But she continued talking. I don't mm. know if that makes sense. It makes so sense. So I was learning that with Milay actually. Because mm. Milay would Good. say anything to her and she'd just look at you. Go dance in front of a mirror or something. You know. So yeah. I was learning some of the things that other people, their characters. I'm like, okay, this person. Even my character would tell me that. Mm. Some things, Yolanda. You know, hence why. Hence why you always fight with ghosts. Remember, I told you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the situation with Liam, let's get into it, right? Okay. Um, okay, first, right? Do you know your triggers? Actually, I I thought you I knew, knew my triggers. triggers. Yeah. And I thought the only person to trigger me was ghost in the house. Yeah. Only. Yeah. I even told Z, mm. I'm like, I think I'm I'm I'm, tr- I'm trying to like it's like I'm I'm learning new people. They have few people now that can trigger me. It's so mm. weird. Yeah. Because others I'll just you know, but I'll go off with ghosts only most of the time. You know what? That fight when I look at it and my kicker said this and my kick is very wise. Mm. I think people don't realize how wise it is because people want English to be the benchmark of intelligence. Mm. But let me tell you, when I look at that situation and my kicker said it, you remember you used to tell us the story all the time. My stepmother used to not dish mm. up for me. My stepmother used to not dish up mm. for me. Do you not think that even that triggered that situation from there it kind of like pressed it a bit? Okay. So that could have been like, so who said, Makeka said it on the day I got uh, disqualified mm. when we were doing our laundry, mm. when he was like, your emotions, they can come back. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yes, he did say something like that. But what triggered me into pouring wine on her, it was a very funny thing though, if I tell you, you'll laugh. What was it? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what was ah! it? I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but what? it has to do with the things that she was saying. What did she say? Can I say anything? Say. Okay. You can say anything. So when I told her that my 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 stepmoms used to not give me food. Yeah, you told And them. sometimes I would just... And I told her that I, it's not like I want your plate or anything. Mm. I was not telling her to guilt. So she thought I was doing that. You yeah. understand? And then as we were swearing at each other offensively. Mm. And then she's like, yeah. Oh, she went downstairs. Mm. And I just sitting on the table. Like, ah, I'm about to say this. Anyway... She was like, yeah. I'm sure they said I was a granny, like I'm, yeah. I'm old. Yeah. And I par- I can't do a blow job. <laughs> and then she was like, so you do you want me to teach you how to do a blow job? I can actually teach you how to do a blow job. That was a trigger. You know why? That was a trigger. Because I can't do it. <laughs> I honestly can't. This is the truth. I cannot do that. And... Like it's terrible. I, like I don't, I don't. I don't even do it because I'm like, I don't, know what, I don't know what to say to you right now. <laughs> no, that was a trigger because in my head I'm like, damn it! How does she know that I don't know how? 
I became angry. So everything came kind of, uh, <laughs> People that, yo, now, it's like, for me, it's like, for me, I actually forgot that people don't know that I don't know how to do that. But the fact that I know that I don't know how to do that. Yolanda, why don't you know how to do a blue job? I'm just asking for okay. your reference. I'm going to really clarify it to you, Sham. I'm going to play it down to you very nicely. So Yolanda, my dad, was positive. When you got his result, he told me. Mm. That same day, he came and told me. And he said, I think I was, I was probably 16 or 15. And most of my friends, some of my friends had kids at the time. Yeah. Like teenage things. And then he told me, he was like, when they gave us our results, they said that everyone your age is positive. So you must not have sex with anyone. Because even if you use protection, someday you may not use it. Then I didn't have sex until I was 27. That is the truth. So I broke my virginity when I was 27. Yeah. Of course, I don't know a lot of things. Because I just arrived. In the situation. <laughs> I just arrived, you know? You just arrived. I'm kind of like new. <laughs> and some of the things, you know, like, if you've been having sex from 18, for example, ne? Yeah. definitely you are better than me because you would probably try and learn other things that are, you know? Yeah. So me, as old as I was, and I'm thinking I'm, yo! It's just, yo. Late bloom of it. <laughs> definitely I am. I am. Even drinking as well. I've like, been drinking. I very late. When, t- when did I you start drinking? I actually started drinking 2012. Ne? So I drank, no, 2011 and 12, and then I stopped. Mm. 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Came back 19, I think. But now, corner 19, I was not like drinking, drinking. I was just, you understand? And then slowly, like weekends with yeah. my friends. Yes. Mm. Let's, uh, let's address the alcohol situation. Do you think you drank a lot? Okay. Because I think you did, if you want to know. There are times where, like... I'm going to explain that part very well, Shem. So, I don't drink a lot. Ne? In because, the house? Yes. Of course, I want to address that. So, I want to address the after the house and address why in the house. Mm. Outside the house, I didn't drink like that. Because mm. we're outside. Mm. And we have to drive home or something like mm. that. Ne? Or, I'm in a club. Mm. I can't drink like that in club. Or, I don't know, mostly when I go to clubs, I'll go with my friends, people that I trust. Mm. And at my place, I have alcohol. Like, it's there. Like, Mm. I don't wait for days. Mm. Thursday Mm. and Saturday. Mm. Sometimes Monday. Mm. If I want a glass of wine, it's there. there. Yes. If, and I don't have to fight with anyone before it finishes, you know. Mm. Sometimes you wake up and they say, alcohol. And you showering and you come back, it's finished. Mm. Understand? Mm. So in the Brick Brother house, alcohol would come. Okay, we'll drink alcohol Thursday and uh, Saturday. And also t- sometimes Mondays, I mm. think. Oh, Sundays, actually, mm. after eviction, just to us yeah, yeah. who are stressed. Yes. But not gonna like, <laughs> yes, but not gonna like one thing. Mm. Not like a whole, because obviously they yeah. don't want to promote drunkard people. You understand? But to- so... When I got into the house, we were 23, right? Mm. I didn't think they were going to limit us with alcohol. That was my my thinking. Because mm. I didn't really like watch the show, show, like watch it every day. Mm. I was just going there because people said, go, maybe you might. Mm. And I was like, really? Let me apply. And I applied and they took me. I was like, whoop, okay, this is serious. It's happening. And then boom, I'm in the house, you know. Yeah. Then I'm like, with 23 people. And I'm mm. thinking, okay. And then they give us alcohol. Mm. And it finishes. Because when we went into the house, there was alcohol. My yeah. kicker drank all of it. <laughs> when we went into the house, we only drank like half a glass. And then I said, in my head, I'm like, where's alcohol? Thinking, okay, maybe they... Because I thought maybe it will be there. People would just have to measure themselves. Yeah. Or and stuff like that. So the fact that there were days to receive alcohol, that also was a thing. When alcohol was there, mm. you drink. Because it will finish. Mm. People are going to pour a whole full glass Like and Yolanda. Finish. But with the full glass, let like me... No, 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 no. Let me cut back to you. <laughs> with the full glass, my love. First time it happened, Lerato introduced that. Mm. It was a Thursday. Mm. We said we're going to have a bartender, even mm. though there was no one. We appointed one to say that we're going to measure for each other. Mm. Lerato went in there and poured mm. a whole glass for herself. Mm. Ne? Mm. No one said anything about that. Mm. Ne? The whole... Th- and I saw it. Mm. And I'm like, okay. And then I got nominated for the first time. Mm. Ne? That's where the whole thing started. 
when Big Brother brought alcohol on that Monday, I took it already upstairs mm. and I took a sip because I wanted to drink something. I'm stressed. I'm thinking I'm going to go home. You <laughs> understand? And then they're like, yo, you lend the alcohol, this, da, 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 da. And they nominated me. I'm like, oh, it's not like they like me and stuff. If I want to drink enough alcohol, then I have to go do it myself because the measurements are not working. No one said mm. anything when Lerata did that. Then I started doing that also because I saw someone doing it and mm. no one said anything. But when I did it, they labeled me like that's the person that I... Two! After I did that, Jerry did the same thing. They brought us a tin. Yeah, yeah, that beer. That tin I thingy. Know, yeah, that tin. He was standing on the car, the, the thingy, Counter. drinking it. He drank, He would wait for the for the foam to go down. Drink. Boom. Drink. Boom. And he comes and he says, Yolanda is inconsiderate. Three. About being inconsiderate. When we received food, <laughs> hygiene stuff, we got two packets <laughs> of wipes, right? Yeah. And two lotions. When he took a whole packet of wipes alone and put it in his own cosmetic bag. Who's not being considered? Just because I drank alcohol one time, that time. Then I did it all the time because I'm like, these people are only picking the consideration part. They are picking it here for this person. Why are we not picking it here for this and for that? Because it's the same but, thing. But just because three other people are inconsiderate doesn't mean you're not. Yes, I became inconsiderate. You know why? Because I was like, if I but, don't... But singing while people are sleeping is inconsiderate. <laughs> you know why I did that? That was my own... I can't beat them in the house. I can't slap anyone. I can't do anything. <laughs> and they were hurting my feelings. And I knew they wanted to sleep. I even told them that I'm not going to apologize because also, you guys do things to me. I can't do anything about it. Yeah. I mean, what am I going to do about it? Nothing. So I decided to do something that is going to lend. So I throw my grenade and it landed. And it landed. It did. <laughs> so I was like, yes. Wow. What you going to do about Nothing. it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> but I was, it's not like I was big. With the alcohol in the house, it was because. But, but, but also, let's, let's look at it this way. Your nomination could have been three people. Now there are 19 other people who That's are sitting, who are sitting there who are not That's nominated. I didn't know how the nomination... Remember, yes, I didn't really... That's the inconsiderate yes, part as well. But I didn't know who, how many people are nominating me. Mm. And it's not like the people that were nominating us. If Big Brother... Why are you nominating? No, 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 no. If Big Brother... No, but you can't nominate me, five of you, at the same time. But I were you nominated. Yes, because I had to. But look... Mm. If we were 20, I feel like this is what happened on the first week, actually. Mm. I feel like on the first week, we just nominated normally. Like, da, 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 da. hence all of us were up for eviction. Yeah. Because we were like, okay, I'm nominated. It was fair because we all nominated and it was probably like an equal number. You understand? Mm. And Big Brother said, okay, let's put all of them. Whoever goes home, go home. Mm. You understand? But as time went on, there are people who stayed in the house for full six weeks. Really? For example, <laughs> he just got nominated recently. He was never getting nominated. Why? Because he's singing Yolanda is inconsiderate and he is. Mara, That's why. Matter he played a good social game inside the house. Social game? Social game is when like people inside the house like you to a point that they forget that you're even there. It's not a good thing because like outside you were good. I always say to people, you played a good outside game. So outside the house, you were playing an, a game for outside. Willie is playing a social game inside the house to be liked um, inside. But, but he he's not going getting nominated, but it's not like people like him outside. But also, ne, what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to say is okay, he played a social game inside the house, but not with everyone. Mm -hmm. Willie but had nobody nominated him, so it's a good game. Really? It's a good game inside the house. Outside the house is not really. They, the only time I nominated him is when they no, we nominated live and I was like, you nominated me. Exactly. He's easily mm. forgettable. He did. You're right. Mm. I also did. When you get into the dining room. No, but another thing that really like, was doing also, he was also sleeping a lot. We didn't really see him in the house. We he, saw him only when he came out and... How, ooh, how can you forget your person also? No, Willie was not my person. Ah, no, you guys, guys were nicely. that was very clear. I was throwing a grenade to my KK and it also landed. That was not anything romantic. <laughs> Shem, let me explain it. But, but Willie is a good looking guy. Yeah, but he's not someone I want. Why? Because how? There's my KK in the house. You know, and you know, I always say that my KK is one of the good looking guys in that house. And he's, and he's probably like, he's probably like the, uh, oh, like one, number one day. 
He has a nice walk. Ooh. Have you seen his walk? <laughs> I didn't see it. I know. I've heard about your walk. They said you walk like a duck. <laughs> ah, they did. So the thing is, with my duck walk, <laughs> Shem, I grew up like a tomboy, obviously, because of that nigga. <laughs> my dad. Your dad. <laughs> so I, I do this. What is, what, is, what is that in English? I don't know. When your shoulders are like you, this and you walk. Yeah. Even me, should be like, sit like a girl. Because most of the time I sit like this. I don't. Now I'm just, you know, we. Yeah. You understand? You even wearing loud colors, so I must try <laughs> pose properly, you know. And we do modeling, so it's a yeah. different story when I'm wearing heels. But I always walk barefoot mm. at home, and my <laughs> feet are like this. It's like they're not deciding where to go. Are we going left or are we going right? They're like this, you know. And there's nothing I can do about that <laughs> because we don't choose. We don't tell God, create me like this, give me this foot, give me this. You just come out. You and know, you have a situation like that. You know that. what Papa Koi said? He said, <laughs> you have village feet. And he did. Yo! <laughs> let me tell you something about Papa Koi. I didn't think, I didn't think that um, people like him, people like him and Lerato, I didn't think they exist in the world. What do you I thought mean they by were that? in the movies. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> ah, well, that nigga is mean, guys. Hmm. And... Yo! Okay, it's very confusing. But things he say, hmm. I don't think I'd ever really like saying Jay if I'm not in a situation. Hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, even if you check most of the what, things, what 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 are the things specifically? Let's remember just one thing that he said. He said my feet were warane. He said village things when I was cooking. Yo, there was a day I was cooking and I didn't switch off. That thing there on top for whatever. Yeah, the vent. He came and he switched it on. I know these things are not there in the villages. <laughs> when you cook, you must switch it on. And now, you're like, okay, fine. Yeah. But the weird part is the village girl is there in the same house with you, showing yeah. the same shower with you. Eat the same with the village girl. I mean, what does it say about you, Saba boy? Mm -hmm. Anyway, he said to me when we were fighting, so I broke down on this other Saturday because my people were gone and I was missing everyone and I felt oh, yeah, alone. Yeah, yeah. And I cried. Lerato became a human being, Shem. Mm -hmm. Lerato could do that. She could switch and be like, nice. But I don't know what happened to her, other things. Or I don't know. But she could really switch and be nice. With me, I always said it in the diary room. Like, I do prefer Lerato. Because she's honest yeah, she, about you who did she say is. Like, she did just, say that. Yeah, you did what say you that. see is what you get. Mm -hmm. And she was there with Snai helping me. And I went to the shower. And then ghost passed. And Lerato was... She, she thought, I think that she told him. Because she called me later. She was like, no, I don't think. Don't, but it's fine. I'm going to get to that. And I was showering. And then he passed. He saw what was happening, basically. And then he went back. And then we did the rice. Oh, that punishment. Who came up with that? Oh! Anyway, we were doing that They're rice situation. They're trying to calm you down, guys. Uh, well, and then I did the rice thingy. So we had an... And the fight started because he was being mean to Lerato during my presence. They are in me, according to them. Mm -hmm. You understand? I feel like if you guys are in a relationship and you know who doesn't like you, we're like in the same house. Yeah. You can't. She wouldn't have that fight with him in front of us. She would probably try and, mm -hmm. you know, so that we don't see that they fight. She was like that. But he was the opposite. And it was so weird. And I was saying to him, you can't talk to Lerato like that in front of me. I mean... What if I use it that against her and mm -hmm. make her worse and stuff mm -hmm. like that? But I'm not that person. I never did that. Mm -hmm. Even with him, when Lerata left, I didn't rub it on his face. That Lerata is God. That, like he did when Mitch and Chuenza left. I didn't do that because I think I'm a human being. Well, I'm a human being. He said to me, yeah, you're so loud. <laughs> you saw this. The person that raised you is tossing and turning there in the grave. Oh, Who says yes. that? No, that's very mean. And also he was like, yeah, you have problems. You have trauma. That's why you broke down last night. Hey, man, now. How are ghosts there? I thought he was in TV only. I thought he was only in movies. <laughs> that character, I only saw it in movies. See? But you and also said, you also said, ghost was very nice to you. That, that's the thing. That's the confusing part about it. So, ghost and I, so this is the situation. Mm. When the whole thing started, like, mm. first week, ghost mm. and I were, like, close. Mm. I have an operation. When it's cold, it becomes very painful. Mm. So when I went into the house, the cold and everything was not really working. I like I usually had that those pains most of the time. Yeah. And I would sit there outside. Yeah. And ghosts would come and also try and 
like talk to me, ask me what I need, like be nice. Mm. That time I don't know he's doing that to everyone. Apparently he was doing the same. Yeah, he was doing right. the same to everyone. You know, me now I'm thinking I'm special. Yo, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, he was very nice. So we thought about Doom the first time. Doom. So he was spraying flies while they were cooking. Yeah. Right there. And for me, I'm like, ah, that's not safe. Yeah. And he's like, I don't like flies. So flies must die. I can't live without flies. So we had like a thing before the actual yeah. fight. Mm-hmm. Ne? And then we had that big fight in the house. Yeah. And I feel like that's where Loretta got an opportunity because when I started fighting with Ghost, she ran to him. And they became friends. Because Lerato and I didn't like Lerato, each other in the beginning. Lerato, Lerato also liked Bravo P. She did? Yeah. She did? Yeah. Really? She was, she was really like, oh, <laughs> she was like, whoever's going to win That's a me. lie. She no, did. she went into the diary room and was like, whoever's going to win me. She did? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's news. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. So hey. when Bravo B left, he's like, ah, here's this guy. Oh. Yeah. I actually didn't think Larato was going to date Ghost. I thought she was going to team up with him and annoy me. Because mm-hmm. she told me straight Pasha that she didn't like me. Yeah, she did. Yes. So when I saw them, in my head, I'm like, okay, they probably want to play. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know you learned that part. I'm five steps ahead. Mm-hmm. Can't they going to date? This is the weird part about ghosts. And a winner, think, and a winner knows also my kilo. No, ghost makes my k- No, I didn't like ghosts like that in the beginning. Game. I even told him. I was like, I date Pisces. He's a Pisces. When he told me when his I birthday like Pisces, was. Pisces, me. No, but we, we do. Yes. <laughs> I usually date Pisces. Honestly, I, yeah. I really like my yeah. long relationships are with them. Yeah. So I told him, I'm like, you are Pisces. Okay. I usually date Pisces, but I won't date you. I did say it mm. the, in the beginning before anything. The beginning. In the beginning. <laughs> beginning. <laughs> I'm used to the video. Imagine. Anyway. Mm. And then um, he was like, why wouldn't you date me? I didn't really explain, actually. Mm. I think I, I left or something. Mm. When they started dating, he became very nice to me. Mm. Like, we would fight. We had a fight this other day. I think the night before. It was a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Okay, before the fight, when I started seeing signs... Big brother meshed me with him when he gave us those colorful oh, clothes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he came and danced with me mm. in the party room. Yeah. And then he went to dance with Lerato and they started kissing there. And I'm thinking, okay, wow. Then when he came back to dance with me, I chased him. She was like, yeah, Papa Go says you're rude because he was coming to dance with you, but you chased him. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm not a ball me. Can, no, oh. Dance he forever. was dancing hey, with everyone, whoa. though. Not me. Wow, well, I one. had people to dance with. No, the thing is, no, really was, really. no, no, no. The thing, the thing is, there were signs that I was seeing, mm. and for me, it was not just a dance with everyone. I don't know if that makes sense. Even though he didn't, but say he also had a that. thing with else. I don't think that was a thing. No, it was really. Mm. You see, I didn't even see that thing. No, like, like he, like, like for me, I. F- I when we looked at it, he really, really liked Elf. I think, you know what I think? I think he's good with women. Mm. But then he ended up controlling them and treating them bad. I think he would he would actually be a nice boyfriend in the beginning and change and he's shocked. Mm. But you stay because you know he's nice. Mm. Or he can be nice. I don't know if that he makes can, sense. Yeah, it makes like sense. Like a dad of a mad black woman. Yeah, you, you stay, know that guy. Mm. You stay, you're thinking, ah, he's gonna go back to the be way he nice. was. But he never, because now he's, yeah. But he's very good with men. Because with me, I fought with him the night before. I don't remember what happened. But in the morning, it was my turn to wash dishes. And there were dishes everywhere. My mm. Lord. Mm. That side, that side, zinc. He woke up. Mm. He came and helped me wash all the dishes. He cleaned that whole counter for me. Cleaned the other counter. And it was not <laughs> even his turn to wash or anything. It was not his group. When he was done, when I'm busy washing, he was wiping and pecking, wiping and pecking. When I would fight with my keke sometimes and then be loud and my keke also become loud yeah. and he was sleeping there, he'd be like, no, 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 don't shout at her. Like, you yeah. understand? Like that whole yeah. I care about you situation. And also my other little things. Oh, he even did tell me. I asked him on the table of the, 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 the what is that, Conje? What is uh, Valentine's thingy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah, the speed him. dating. Yes. I asked him, I was like, 
Do you do all of the nice things to every woman? Oh, that was just for me. And I was like, oh, no, all that was for you. No, he does that to every woman. But he said it was for me. You see, I told you. He's he does that for women. every woman. He does he's good that with, for every woman. But the thing is, but the problem is, with me, I also check how you treat other people. Hence, I said, that is, mm -hmm. yes, I did like him as time went on, the way he was treating me, because I like when someone treats me nice. nice. I do. That's my actual, oh, that is my love language. Shem, I'm going to be very hooked if you are like that. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. But then when I saw how he was treating the Lerato as well, yeah. I was like, no. Yeah, that, okay, fine. Let's go into the fight between you and Badly. Because for me personally, when mm -hmm. I looked at it, it was... I don't know, like, like I said, like when they were calling you a cow, mm. for me, it was just like, why would you say that? Mm. And not only did she say that, there were things that she said not around you. She said that, um, oh, uh, you're a cow to other people. This is why doctors can't even fix you. <laughs> this is why what, it was so, it, it, it yeah. was such a big thing for, for like, you know what I mean? Mm. So for, for, for me, <sighs> You took the cow label and basically made it yours and said you're a cow. But are we really being, are we really thinking about other kids who are there who have the same uh, skin problem? Or are we, because I feel like that was, we, you guys were not thinking how many people are watching. Okay, so with Bali for me, I feel like she, okay, in the beginning, in the beginning, <laughs> in, Bali and I were like this. Yeah. She's the one who, who, who even knew that I don't eat at night. She would mm. put food aside and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, she said. But the thing about Bali is she became two-faced. Yeah. I feel like she didn't want to be nominated, mm. according to me. Mm. And then she, she 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 tried to like stay away from the rotten fruit, which, which is, is you. me. Yes. Mm. I don't think Bali hated me like that. Mm. But I felt like she just decided to go with the crowd that won't nominate her. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Mm. And Which is then, what makes Junior. And the like, yeah. boom, for me and stuff. And mm. then she didn't get nominated until that day. Mm. So what happened then, <clears throat> that day, she was not nominated. Mm. Okay, I just hope this doesn't get me in trouble. But Big Brother gave us vegan food, right? Yeah. We all didn't like the vegan food. Yeah. But I actually liked how it was helping me with my metabolism. Like yeah. I would go to the loo five or three times and yeah. I was liking it because I don't yeah. like. So I, I know you when you go, it. you yeah. reduce, you understand? Yeah. So he gave us a beggar through mm. McJunior when McJunior yeah. answered the phone. Yeah. And then when we came back from, we found the steak, yeah. Nerato and I. Yeah. I feel like, I don't think she had an issue with me personally. Mm. But she was angry because, first of all, we're not eating the food mm. that we all like. Mm. And now we're getting the food that we all like, that we can all eat. Yeah. If one person eats it, it will be 90% of the wage. Mm. If two people eat it, it will be 100% of the wage. Mm. Or more than two people eat it, it will be 100%. And we all thought, I don't think they knew basics were like still normal food. They felt yeah. like basic is not food, we're going to starve. You're going to starve. Yes. <clears throat> and they're like, no, we can't do that. 100% is a lot. So many if we lose. And we're not really working well in the task. Like, yeah. the task was, like, shaking. Yeah. So, the fight, when I ate the steak, she, she like, she was, a lot of people have, because I didn't share my steak. <laughs> <laughs> I earned and ate it alive. You and, no, you and, <laughs> Lerato. Lerato. No, Lerato did share, I think, in the house. Yeah, yeah. I said. left and went and stayed somewhere, because I was and like, and ate it. <laughs> yeah, because they don't want to eat it. <laughs> so, then, when the fight happened, eh, she was angry and every emotion came in. Mm. You understand? I know she was probably gossiping about me with other things and stuff like that. But I'm not a person who would go for things that you're probably maybe struggling with. Or maybe yeah. you're struggling to fix. Because I know I also have a situation. Mm. But then when she called me a cow, I didn't go back and call her stuff. Did you, but see. but she says that you say you insinuated that she was overweight. No, she's like when you said to her when she said to you, "Oh, uh, at your age, so right, so, wait." Mm. So when she said at your age, mm -hmm. right, um, did you then say you did say, "Oh, 
um let me tell you i look for it for for my age yes right mm -hmm. were you talking about her weight so no what so that's you, the thing okay when I said to you now that I will never go for your body, mm. it's because I know she can't fix that. She can't wake up and say, let me fix it. Yeah. Some people are born with the bone. I have a friend, she's been like that yeah. her whole life. Yeah. There's no diet that works mm. because that's her bone. You understand? Mm. So I can't go for that because I when know I you can't. Really <laughs> <laughs> no, but there are people like that. Yeah. Diet, whatever, yeah. you just like that by yeah. nature. Mm. So I would never do that because I know... I also know there's things that I can remove from myself. Mm. When I spoke about that, I don't know if I can elaborate properly, but I'm going to... But keep it, it like now. sweet. Okay. Yeah, kiss it. Yes, I kiss it. Okay. Keep it so this is what happened. Eh? When she said, I'm, at my age, I'm old. At that time, I thought I was the only oldest in the house. And it's not nice being the oldest with kids. Yeah. And they call you out like that and mm. say, at your age... But I was not there to mother anyone. Mm. I was not there to be someone's sister or mother or whatever. I was there to just win the two million. Can I just win it? Anyway. <laughs> I mean, you can't now. <laughs> unless you go to another house. <laughs> you know, baby. <laughs> but, so, yeah. So, so when when the whole thing, um, when I said, when she said, so she attacked me mm. and pressed my button. Yeah. And I could have said anything about yeah. her weight. Or the behavior mm. that was making her maybe look older than me. And it had nothing to do with her weight. It had everything to do with the face. Because I was putting a makeup on. You understand? Mm. She doesn't really like putting makeup every day or mm. look nice every day. Mm. She would just be normal. You understand? And that kind of make you look a little bit mature. Okay. You know what I really like about you? Mm. You came into the house and said, I am going to give these people a show. Thank you. You dressed up. Yeah, you showed up. You gave drama. You gave content. You gave, I did. No, you gave <laughs> like you gave it your all. I was telling people that like this girl, because even Trenza came here and said, "Oh, who deserves the most stylish? Who deserves? Is it me or Yolanda?" And I said to him, "Yolanda is consistent." <laughs> If there's that. one thing about you, <laughs> you are very, very consistent. How many outfits do you have? How many suitcases did you pack? Four. <laughs> I could tell that, yeah, no, they you packed all... proper, you packed properly. So you yeah, entertain, yeah. you, you were, you wanted to show up mm -hmm. and you had, um, fights with Liam again about the car thing. Can mm -hmm. we shortly go into your skin? How did, how did you discover that you have a skin? Okay. So my skin started 2013, mm -hmm. like a dot at the back. Yeah. So it was actually only at the back. And then... Uh, I would hide it as, as the, like the dot would grow, like yeah. increase and look like a map and then come. So I didn't really have it on my face. If you check my pictures yeah, before, yeah. it's coming from the back and, 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 and. You've never went to a doctor at that time. I didn't have money for a dermatologist. Yeah. Couldn't afford one. And yeah. with this type of situation, you can't go once. Mm. You have to go for sessions. Apparently. How, how old? How old were you? Mm, I think I was 23, 23. or 24-ish there. I'm not sure. But you knew what was happening. No, that's the thing. Know. Hence, I was hiding it. Yeah. Because I thought people would think I'm sick of something. I don't even know. Yeah. But I'm not feeling pain or anything. I was like, ah, since I'm not feeling anything, I just put makeup on it and hide it. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought it was witchcraft. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I thought someone bewitched me. And I was like, I'll pray. God will remove it. Yeah. His own time. Yeah. So I really thought it was witchcraft. And I didn't really. So I went on social media mm. to check. Firstly, I went to Google to check the white. I used to call them white patches. Me. Mm. I'll type what causes white patches. What's happening. Oh. Then I saw people there. Yeah. My other cousin also showed me um, Winnie Halo. You know, yeah, Winnie. Winnie. And then 2019, I decided. Because I followed her story. And I followed her yeah. everywhere. And I, mm. So I now you knew fully yeah. what you had. I became a model because of her, actually. Yeah. When I saw her, I was like, ah, I don't look bad. I can't be a model. Let me try it. Yeah. Did a competition. I won the competition. Then I went into the modeling thing as yeah. well. And her story really like motivated me. And I was like, you know what? I can just be myself. I mean, I have mm. confidence. I had confidence before Vitaligo. Mm. And I just tapped into that and mm. accepted myself. But when it comes to the skin, it's not something that you can wake up and say, I accept it, Shem. Mm. And it's so annoying when people come up to you and want to give you medication, according to doctors, mm. when I now ask, because mm. now I know what it is, mm. and I know, according to doctors, there's no cure, because this pigment is dead. Mm. So you can't 
go back and mm. wake it up and fix it. There are people that say there are medications for it. Well, I don't know. I don't even want to try. Mm. There's also another one that is associated with cancer, apparently, mm. according mm. to doctors. Mm. But we did check that, and mm. I don't and have not. that. So it's not yeah. a sign for that for me. Yeah. And another thing that also causes it, apparently, according to my other doctor, mm. he said that if you had a period in your life where you were stressing mm. too much, you would get either vital ego or something else or a different thing because mm. your body fights itself because you're like, stressing mm. consistently for a very long time did you have that period in your yes, life yes i had that this? period when my dad passed 2009 i was yeah. in grade 11 yeah and my dad had money he was he was not smart i mean he was not book smart mm. but he was very wise in terms of how to make money he had his own mm. business i had everything with my stepmom doing all the things sorry with my stepmom whatever mm. my dad was there giving me whatever that i needed yeah. so when he passed i was not used to asking i was not used to not having anything mm. Like, it was a whole different shift. I had to... And my mom doesn't have or didn't have even at the time. I mean, yeah. it was just the domestic work. Yeah. And I'm not used to calling someone and want something and they don't have. You mm. understand? So, I cried. So, all the money went to your stepmother? My dad didn't have a wheel. Oh, okay. This is what I used to even tell um, my kid in the house. I'm like, you have to be... If you're streetwise... You also need books. It mm. helps to balance the to situation. Balance the situation. Because he was wise, streetwise. He made money from nothing. Mm. But it just disappeared. Mm. Because he didn't have a wheel. Mm. He was not saving where he was supposed to. He was, there were a lot of things that he didn't do. And when he passed, everyone just gave themselves whatever, yeah, whatever they could whatever get. They you understand? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So it was very difficult for me. From 2009, 10, 11, 12, when I came here, it was even worse. Yeah. I would cry literally almost every day. Because yeah. when I came to Pretoria, I tried to go to school. And no one could give me 1.54 registration fee. Yeah, yeah. I had to wait again. And I insisted to be in Pretoria because I saw myself here. Yeah. I had to work. I worked on the street. <laughs> Not doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought you oh worked on the street God. corner. No. I was working for a... Um, a uh, what is this? A company that sells houses. Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah. they employ runners. Runners is people that stand in the robots and give out flyers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If you take my flyer, I run to you. You must give me your number phone. Then we give it to the agents in the mm. office and they call you. They convince you to buy a house. Mm. That was my first job. Mm. And then I did other things in the gazebos where you sell uh, skincare products. Mm. You sit there, you wait for people. Da, 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 mm. After that, and I went to retail. Retail made it better because retail... There was commission mm. as well. Mm. So I stayed in a nice Hanyana place. See, mm. things were looking up yeah. better there. Yes. So that period period was like a stressful. Because sometimes I didn't have a place to stay. Mm. And like, yo, it was just, it was a lot for yeah, me. Lot. And I couldn't really ask because I was not really used to asking. Mm. And the person but that how I did you how there. did you get through that period? You... How did you like push through? Someone would think I drank alcohol. <laughs> like I went to church. You went to church. I went to church. 20, 2012, mm. 13, mm. 14, I went to church. Mm. And you know, our churches, they would have your therapy, especially these ones, this mm. site. They would have like counseling it's sessions like, and yeah. stuff. And you know, it's, 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 it's good to have something to believe on. Like to someone telling in, yeah. you that, no, even this one had this issue. Yeah. But look at them now. Mm. You then see mm. the light at the end of Faith. the tunnel. Yes, Faith. you then see, you then see, ah, if this one can do it. Even me. I also can do it. Yeah. yeah things yeah. like that. So that actually helped me to move um, um, past. past that. And that time I was not even drinking alcohol at all. Mm. I was like a prayer warrior. Yeah, and then you started drinking alcohol. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I lost two million. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think uh, let's go into when Big Brother calls into the diary room, mm -hmm. right? And says to you, do you remember what you said? First of all, do you remember? So the, that's a weird part. Because I didn't remember what I said because that was not mm. the intention. Mm. I don't know if that makes sense. So I didn't mm -hmm. really like remember that i said this that way mm. it was like weird for me because i was sure i didn't do anything even when i went to that room i thought it was a diary session mm. i went there thinking oh they want me to have a diary session on friday it's so weird okay mm. and when he spoke and like this is big brother's like is that a diary session mm. on a friday yeah. so yeah i didn't really remember exactly what happened yeah 
So, and then he tells you what you said. What's, what gets into you? Yo. So, when he said that, I said that. I actually, the moment he said that, um, this is what you said when you told, um, what's, it, what's her name? Um, Bomi. Bomi. Yeah. That moment, I was like, oh my gosh. Then I remembered what the word actually says or actually means. You understand? Yeah. And in my heart, in my head, I was like, I did say that? Because mm. now it's coming out as if I was going to do that. Because mm. after the whole situation, I wanted to cuddle. I went to my kicker's bed to sleep there. And then we cuddled the whole night. I even complimented him. I was like, yo, you're way better in cuddling these days. Mm. Yeah, because he was like holding me the whole night. Mm. Oh. I think um, addressing, I think production and addressing the situation, they had every right to address it because mm. um, even though you say you didn't mean it like that, mm. right? But there are people who are being molested and it doesn't mm. want to, like, they don't want to make it seem like it's okay. You, you understand? Mm. So for me, I think, I don't know if they, the disqualification was a bit too much, but it's, but it's, it has to do with like the society in, in which we live in, in South Africa, we have to like, there are things that have to be, you know, followed, followed. Okay. So I hear you. Ne? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Ask. When we spoke about the cow issue. Cow. Yes. Case, that's also a language, right? The cow issue. No, it's not a no. It's not like similar. No. Like it's not similar. They they she intended to hurt you. Oh, okay. When she said that. When she said that she intended to hurt you, she it. knew it would hurt you. And she took it further and said, even doctors can't fix you. Oh, okay. No, I hear I hear you. The reason why I'm asking you this question is because when we went into the house, ne, they were rule books. Mm. And we did kind of like try and understand it according to our, our own understanding, understanding. Mm. and we didn't really like think it's that deep mm. that what you say can actually go that far yeah. i personally know that there are people that do get molested or maybe have been in mm -hmm. that situation and they're trying to you know leave mm. and be normal and then mostly it's kids yes mostly it's kids. i didn't even that's the thing mostly it's kids yes because someone was like no 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 Pella, this guy even if because i was explaining that no I'm sure he's 27, I'm 33, the whole mm. situation. Mm. They were like, no, no, but no, no. But even the that... way you explain it, ne? it's not what it means. <laughs> exactly. Because in my head, <laughs> it's not for me. It's, it's, not an, it's not even an age thing to molest. Like you, can, you can molest somebody even if you're older. It's, it means touching people's private parts forcefully. You know what I mean? Like touching. Like, like just go and you touch. Touching people's privates. That's molest. Yeah, like in playing with their you know private what parts. What do you think it was? <laughs> wow. What did you think it was? I thought it was when me, hmm. the older person, sleep with uh, you. No, it doesn't. A younger mean person, it looks like I molested you. That's maybe statutory rape. Then, yo, <laughs> imagine I said that. I don't like think you if know you're what under means. 16. If you're under 16, you would be statutory rape. Oh, so Mina, I was saying it in the age gap, yeah, you thing. And also, I was not saying it like I'm gonna force it, force it. For example, mm -hmm. I knew that Papa was like me. Apparently, he said it in the diary room. <laughs> he does. He said, he said, he said before you started singing mm. and talking like a mad woman. <laughs> He's lying, Sham. He does like me. I love the fact that you, you're like, I don't care. He likes well, me. Well, he does. He knows that he does. I was saying it because in my head, I was like, okay, this guy is trying to be faithful. Or oh, he's, maybe he's a faithful guy because he's in a yeah. relationship with Lerato. He can't be your Jarid, you know, and the like. He wants to be this I really have guy. an issue with you with Jarid, but continue. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know. I was not seeing anything. Continue. Was, anyway, so... When Lerato left, for mm. me, I felt like, okay, this guy, I've seen the signs. Mm. I mean, you know when someone likes you, psh, even if they're not saying anything. But also, sometimes I'm just like, maybe you just don't know this guy was just being nice to you. Nah, he wasn't. He did like me. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Continue. And in the fight, they're explaining it. Continue. <laughs> and also, um, so... What was I saying? You see, just <laughs> so many things to say. They you go and come. <laughs> 
don't know what you're talking You don't! <laughs> oh my god! I don't know where I... Oh yes! I was... <laughs> came back. <laughs> no, talk before it goes. It reappeared. Okay. So I was saying that maybe when Lerato... Because li- we can all agree. Yeah. When Lerato left, Papa goes went back to his soft self. Yeah. He became very nice to all of us. Mm. He was just the sweet guy that we first met yeah. after Lerato left. That's what I thought was going to happen. In my head, I'm like, okay, since... Because you know what he said to me in the mm. morning when I told him? I'm like, ah, why did you refuse to cuddle with me? And he's like, no, because you were drunk. Why don't you come and cuddle with me when you're not drunk? I love mm. cuddles. Mm. I would have cuddled with you if you were not drunk. Yeah. And I'm like, why when I'm drunk? He's like, no, what if we end up kissing and it leads to other things? And I'm like, you think any of us would have sex yeah? I mean, there are people who've had sex in the shower and everyone was watching. In the... No, not your group. Our crew was not capable of that. No, your crew had a table and they were kissing there nah, by the shower and doing was all not those cap- things. Those, those people were not capable and of that. And also, I saw them. when you keep advising, oh, Liam and Jerish, such a beautiful lifestyle. I says, ma'am, no, Mar- ma'am. No, Mara, Liam and... Let me tell you something about Liam and Jerry. Liam and Jerry loved each other. Aye, 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 like, aye, they like, did. Aye, you guys don't know I, mean, I saw it on their faces. I even told them. I'm like, Jerry. It could be you know what Jared, No, you know what Jerry was trying to do? Jared was trying to be someone he was not. Jared is a sweet man. And he loves one woman. But, but you, he can be a... But he's also a douchebag, though. The yeah. way he would speak to you. Know, you know, ah, no you know, way. Maybe, maybe I babe. didn't see that part. Because uh, you know what I saw? When Liema was busy spitting on people, <laughs> the way he was holding her, Shem, it had love written all over him. Oh, you missed the you missed the 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 the, the when after he got spit on and people were holding Liema and he was on the in the mirror showing myself. Was, no, but then when she, you know what Liema could have done that day, Liema could have been disqualified that day if he didn't hold her, because she would have went to Mbumi and spit, and Mbumi, and Mbumi, and Mbumi was gonna clap her, Shem. <laughs> Yo! She was gonna put it. She was yo. She was gonna like, come on, land. You know, you know when when uh when everything was going on, Kutule, Kutule, somebody say not in pool. Yo, not in pool. She, what what Jerry did that day for me, I felt like okay, no, not for him kissing other people and making her angry like that, but trying to protect her. That that even you when I the whole thing, but even when oh, I no. even when I put alcohol on, on Liema. He came to me. He was trying to, you understand? He was trying to, don't get there. Don't, yes, be angry, but don't. But he was, for me, he was helping. I even tried to help. And she was like, ah! And I was defeated after that. I can't but, do that No, she, I mean, I feel like their, their relationship, I just feel like Jared was just trying to be someone he was not. According to me. Me, okay, me. I, I but when you're watching from the skin, it's different because you will see all the parts. Okay. I see what they show me maybe in my presence. Okay, um, we have a segment that's called um, fan questions. So we take fan. fan questions. We take questions from Twitter. They might be nice. They might be not be. They might be Yo, like, you know. The way I'm so scared of Twitter. I was shocked. Know? I'm trending so, on tweet. Let's go straight and into I'm fan questions. I'm afraid of Twitter. Lord, have mercy. This is T for Corsi. Right, says, please ask her if there are any feelings involved between her and Cakesy, <laughs> and ask ask her if she's aware of Ghost's real age. Oh, who, feelings with who? Cakes. Who's Cakes? My cake. Oh, my cake. No, she, my cake. I do <laughs> have. You know why? Because he actually, he actually tried, or he was getting there to being the guy that I like. Or how to... But why do you want to change Cakesy? No, Cakes... No, I do have feelings for Cakes-ish. They were not Friendship. there. Probably they would have been there had I stayed this... Because he was a but really not, But not what you... But you, what you did. And no, like, Shem, Cakes and was changing. Cakes. And he took he would, shoes. He would, he would go and yeah. say, Yolanda, no, I need to speak. Well, like, I don't want to speak to you. I saw a video of him when I was sleeping and he was tired of it. <laughs> Guys, do you now feel bad about giving him such a tough time? Yes, I do. Uh, I do feel bad. I do. Yes. No, sham cakes. Okay, fine. And, and then, then ghost. Now I know his real age, and I'm hurt. Three minutes to forty. <laughs> <laughs> I am hurt. Okay, this is a question for um, um Zurinlu. 
Hey, okay. Who is she rooting for now that she's out of the house? Rooting for, not who you think is going to. Who are you like, okay, I want you to win? Shem, I want Makeke to take it. Why? Makeke's situation is more or less like mine. Mm. And But even Bumi's situation is more or less like yours. Nah, I didn't really like have that time with Bumi. You don't like I don't what, know. What was going situation? on between you and Bumi? Well, <laughs> you know what she says? She says you and her are the same. Because I told her that. So she stole my line. She says you and her are the same and she knows that she can't be loud. So she stays away from you. Nah, I think for me, uh, actually, when I entered the house, I thought we entered together, actually. Mm -hmm. She was right behind me. Mm -hmm. I thought we would be trouble together. Because I know my character and I can see my character from other people, from mm -hmm. far. So I saw that for me has my character. Mm -hmm. And in my head, I'm like, oh, it's a relief. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be the only villain because I know somewhere, somehow I end up being a villain in situations like this. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be Mbumi as well, mm -hmm. probably, you know. And then she got nominated the first time. When we all got nominated, yeah. the second time she was the only one that was nominated in yeah. our section yeah. that I was calculating and I was not nominated. Yeah. And I feel like that scared her. Mm -hmm. And then when she got saved, and then she was like... She went back to her shell. She went back to her <laughs> shell. And she she was trying so hard that everyone in the house liked her. Even when she was speaking. I mean, I had a fight with Liema. She was the head of house. Mm. Was she? Oh, yes. And then she stand there. She performs. Yeah, we need to talk to... Ev I'm like... <laughs> What the? What are the you The lazy ones. And we had we had a thing that right after that. For me, I felt like it was not necessary, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, no. I'm rooting for my keke, honestly. I yeah. am because I relate okay. to the story. Dite says, please ask her which brand she uses for her makeup, especially her lipstick. You know what, ne? When you, I think you should have a makeup range. I mean, like a lipstick range. Because when you put, like, I don't know, like you just like, like... When you, you know, put on makeup, when you put on lipstick, you just, especially when you do like pinks or like bright colors, you should. So what do you use for your? You, and I mention them and they don't work with me. <laughs> they, okay, you, you are going to have to pay her to mention them. Please. That's, that's, that's on that. This brand is big. That's, that's on it's that. a very big brand, this one. So, let's talk about your future plans, what you want to do, what you, where do you want to see yourself? Ooh, I want to see myself in all the countries in the world. Does that make sense? Mm. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. All of the countries, I want to see my face there. Mm. But another thing that I want to do personally, because I didn't think people would receive me honestly, like, yo, mm. and especially the fact that I got out like that, I was like, yo, they're going to grill me. And thank mm. goodness, people shame, love me still. And that is amazing. And thank you so much. I am thinking of writing a book about my story so mm. that people can know me on a personal level. Mm. They would, like, you know, when you read about and you understand everything. In yes, I said a lot of things in the house, but there are like a lot of things as well that I can yeah, mm. maybe it will also help someone else mm. with their issues. If mm. yeah. people that still can you have please, issues. um, can I put a suggestion there? Mm. Can you please collaborate with with Lerato and write a children's book about your skin? Hmm. Oh, skin. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. I think you should. I really think you should because, like, like, like you didn't know what was wrong with you. There's also somebody who doesn't know who doesn't know what's wrong with you in a village, guy guy who doesn't know what's going on. Who thinks it's witchcraft and their parents are taking them to the sang home and things like that. You should. Mm, no, that makes sense. Right? Think and then, um, what else do you want to do? Oh, yes. I also am going to open a store mm -hmm. where I'm going to sell things. In that things store. like what? It's an online store, actually. Oh, yeah. And in my, that store, so I'm going to collaborate with other people as well, like designers. Mm. I want to work with designers mm. where they can sell their things in my store mm. and then yeah yeah but i'm definitely going to sell my own merchandise as well yeah what you gonna do about it t-shirts are coming nothing <laughs> and hats i think oh and i want my song apparently i have a song <laughs> yeah guys it's a lot so okay babe mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming thank you for gracing us with your presence um don't be too hard on yourself man like i mean I'd be hard on myself for two million as well, but like, 
Like I'm listening at you and I'm like, don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> too, too many. But not too hard. You know, I always say that you, first of all, you must be kind to yourself. You yeah. must give yourself grace. I always tell people who are close to me, give yourself grace. Forgive. The way you forgive others, give, forgive yourself. You're the first person to, because nobody's going to love you the way you love yourself. That's true, actually. Nobody's and I learned gonna, that from me. No, nobody's going to be as kind as you are to yourself. So mm. be kind to yourself. Be, give yourself grace. Forgive yourself, most importantly. And then we're done. Because I you still so want to talk. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> yeah, tell me. What do you want to talk about? I'm kidding. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, we're done. Hi, Bo. Yo, thank Why you. Why do we finish? Thank you. Thank you so much for joining myself, Kimu Lucello, on Big Brother Buzz. Also, please remember, if you want to book studios, use camera, have crew, please contact 360 Studios. And we'd like to thank all the housemates for coming. Everyone who came here made time. Thank you so much. Join us next week. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. See you next week. It was too bad to worry. 360. It was shiny away. Yo, wait. Uh huh. It was too bad to worry. 360. Shiny away. Nah. It was too bad to worry. 360. It was shiny away. Yo, wait. Uh huh. It was too bad to worry. 360. Shiny away. Nah. It was too bad to worry.